Hey, how's it going? It is Felix from NYNews.com. Like always, hola, como estas? Yankees fans, let's compare the enthusiasm between the Yankees and the Phillies. The Phillies, who have been on record that they are going to spend this offseason. They're joyful. They're excited. Phillies fans have been waiting all these years to sign major free agents. And rightfully so. They have a great stadium. They have great equipment. Players want to sign with the Phillies. You see, with the Yankees, other fans of these other teams are looking at us and saying, what are you guys complaining about? Hmm, let's see. The New York Yankees have a history of winning. Of winning. Do we have to make hats that say, make the Yankees great again? Because that's what it feels like. It feels like we have an owner who is beating around the bush, throwing out excuse after excuse about Manny Machado, when this is the same organization, I'm going to repeat uh, Max uh, Wildstein from Twitter, that signed Aroldis Chapman when he was accused, accused of domestic violence. They traded it for him, and then they signed him to millions of dollars. So what is this thing about Manny Machado, his hustle comments? Again, being brought up again and again, this interview that's coming out with Hal Steinbrenner this Monday. Again, the question was brought up. Manny Machado and his hustle comments, what do you think about that? Oh, he's going to have to explain that because if we're going to sign him for millions of dollars, he's going to have to explain those comments that were debunked months ago and keep getting debunked, he's going to have to explain that. But then again, people like uh, Max Wildstein point out the fact that this is the same organization that traded for a player accused of domestic violence. And not only that, you re-signed them. You signed them to a record contract for a reliever. Okay? So the enthusiasm between the Phillies organization and the Yankees, the Phillies are so ecstatic about the prospect of signing either a Harper or Machado. Then you look at the Yankees. They're nowhere to be found. No excitement. No nothing. Just bashing your potential future employee. So I'll go back to why I feel this way. The Yankees are winners. They have a history of winning. Okay? Fans expect the Yankees to go all out and get the best player available, like the Yankees organization has been saying for years now, wait for 2019, 2019 gets here. Crickets, crickets, no excitement. There's even talk that uh, Trown and Harper could possibly play together in Philadelphia. The Phillies signing Trout in 2020. So it's obvious the Phillies have stolen the spotlight from the Yankees this offseason. Hey, kudos to the Phillies and their fans. And one of these teams like the Phillies or the Nationals are going to uh, sign Corbin because the Yankees are just, I don't know what they're doing. There's no excitement there. Nothing. I don't sense how the Yankees went into the offseason last season trying to sign Shohei Ohtani, who absolutely stole the Rookie of the Year. There was more excitement to sign him than 2019 where Yankees fans expected the Yankees to light up some fireworks and really just dominate the offseason. We haven't seen that yet because the Yankees organization has pointed, has put hints here and there about that they're willing to trade for cost-controlled players or players that cost less than a Machado and Harper. And no, I don't agree with uh, other people's opinions saying that how is working some mind game with Machado. He made it an issue to raise his uh, hustle comments when nobody else is raising those comments, not the Phillies, not any other organization that could possibly afford Machado did that. No, it's not a mind game from Hal. Hal Steinbrenner, like I said repeatedly, I like his tempered uh, persona. I like his uh, personality. When it comes to being laid back, etc. But when you're running a team like the New York Yankees. 
and all of these uh, writers, all of these people are disrespecting the Yankees. Bad press here and there, any little thing that the Yankees do or say, or rookie of the year, etc. It goes the opposite of what the Yankees expected because they're not getting respected, okay? And like I said, all of that reflects on the current owner of the New York Yankees. If people disagree with that, hey, you could disagree with it. Hey, I don't want to bash Hal Steinbrenner. Like I said, his tempered uh, personality would probably work great with other things, but it's obviously not working with running the New York Yankees because you only have what? The only championship the Yankees had won under your reign was 2009. And at that time, your brother Hank, etc., they were really in charge of the baseball operations. You didn't really get power until maybe six or seven years ago. So I go back to what I said earlier. Compare the Phillies and the Yankees. The Phillies have all the excitement. Their fan base is excited. Their front office is excited. They're so joyful. And like I said, compare that to the New York Yankees organization. You see that? It's like light and day. And like I said, that reflects on who runs and owns the New York Yankees. And like I said, in my previous video where I talked about Hal Steinbrenner, he is still young. He still has room to improve. And obviously, I hope he improves because his father was the best sports owner in the world that the world has ever seen, literally. That is some big shoes to fill. So when I critique Hal Steinbrenner, it's because it's common sense. It's obvious. You do not keep making interviews critiquing a player that's possibly interested in signing with your team who plays great defense, who's 26, who offensively could shatter records as a Yankee, okay? And it's going to continue because on Monday, there's a new interview with the same question. And not only that, Hal Steinbrenner says that, hey, we're not only looking at uh, Machado's character, there's other players that we're looking at as well that have the same problem, like four others. So who is he talking about? Is he throwing other players currently on the Yankees under the bus? Who knows? But I'm going to say this as of now. If the Yankees fail to sign Machado and Harper, Hal Steinbrenner is going to have to work on his image when it comes to how Yankees fans perceive him. Because it's going to be unfixable if you don't sign Machado or Harper. The first sign that's going to put that to rest is if the Yankees go out and make a trade for an infielder. Take Segura as an example. If the Yankees make a trade for a player like him, forget it. My intuitions were right. The Yankees don't want to sign Machado and Harper. I mean, the energy's there. We could all feel it. There's no excitement. This is what I'm talking about. You do not tell your fan base that 2019 is going to be the biggest uh, free agent year for the Yankees. And then when it comes, crooked's here and there, the energy's not there, the excitement is not there, and it's really depressing. Take Boston's GM. From day one, his sights were set on um, J.D. Martinez. Everybody knew J.D. Martinez was going to be a Red Sox. Everybody knew it because they stayed in dialogue. They made sure to keep his name with their name. It went out for months, months, months. Red Sox finally signed him, and look at that. World Series champions, a player that literally carried them all season long. We're not seeing that with Harper. We're not seeing that with Machado. See what I'm talking about? The Yankees haven't let it be known as of now, and I highly doubt as of later either, that they are going to sign either one of these players. Hey, I hope I'm wrong. I hope the energy shifts. But as of now, there's no excitement, like I said. No excitement whatsoever. Because your basic Yankees fan has been told that Manny Machado is really a lousy baseball player, a lazy bum that shouldn't be worthy of becoming a Yankee and making all that money as a Yankee. 
when he's obviously going to get that money with another, another team. But the basic Yankees fan that's casual has been taught that, so you're not seeing the excitement there. They already think Manny Machado is going to be a lazy bum on the Yankees because people in the Yankees organization has have made it a point to supposedly point that out, that he's lazy. He's not Johnny Hustle. When it's just an excuse being highlighted that the Yankees just don't want to sign him, period. And then when it comes down to Harper, you're not hearing the Yankees that intrigued and going after Harper. That's all I'm saying. The excitement is not there. Maybe to the hardcore Yankees fans out there that are motivated, you see them on Twitter talking about the Yankees 24-7, etc., they're the real excited Yankees fans because they know if possibly Manny Machado becomes a Yankee, he'll be a great Yankee. You can forget about that Johnny Hustle comment nonsense because it's not true. If Manny Machado is a Yankee, he's going to put in 100%, period, just like he did with the Baltimore Orioles. It's just something that came out of his mouth. Look at his performance. Sure, he didn't hustle here and there a few times. But really, he was on a team that he he knew he wasn't coming back to. So that plays a part in it as well. Also, Alex Rodriguez has come out and supported Manny Machado. He said he'll be a great Yankee. That's something to highlight as well. The Yankees skip out on Manny Machado. They ignored the recommendation of Alex Rodriguez, who is was a very similar player to Manny Machado. So like I said... Grading Hal Steinbrenner as an owner, in my opinion, I am going to give him a C minus. Like I said, he's still young. He could improve. He could go to an A plus in my book. But as of now, his tenure as owner has been a C minus, in my opinion. Some might give him a higher rate, but in my opinion, I give him a C minus as of now. Also, like I said, if he fails to sign Manny Machado or Harper. That C minus is going to be downgraded to a D minus or maybe possibly an F. Like I said, this is how Steinbrenner's true test. If he wants to win points with Yankees fans, he'll be a man of his word and sign a Harper or Machado. I'm not saying that's the best move the Yankees can make, but when you're yapping your mouth for so many years saying that you're going to spend in 2019, and then when it comes, you're not doing anything. The excitement is not there. I mean, Yankees fans have the right to question whatever comes out of your mouth, period. So it's going to be real intriguing to see what Hal Steinbrenner has to say Monday with his interview with the Yes Network. Let's see what he says. Is he going to make things worse? Who knows? But like I said, the main goal is to sign Harper or Machado. Obviously, you want to sign a Corbin as well, but if you can make a trade for a pitcher as good or great as Corbin, you do it. But all this talk about going after Nasty Nate because he's cheaper, cut it out. You came into 2019 ready to spend, put your money where your mouth is. And that's just my opinion. Dear Yankees fans, like always, leave your opinions in the comment section below. And like always, this has been Felix from mynews.com. Share, like, and subscribe, and I will check you out next time.